first sea day. Oh, yesterday was a bundle of fun, but I was exhausted uh, with the long travel day from Texas and the embarkation process, which was chaotic. Uh, and then just getting to know the ship, just feeling a bit overwhelmed by this beautiful ship. I wanted to go everywhere and see everything, <laughs> but I went to bed early, um, early for me, midnight. Um, I, let's see, uh, had lunch at Gigi's, <laughs> had dinner at the steakhouse, uh, met Neil and Kim from Two Travel and Tour, and Dewey from Dewey's Destinations, uh, they're on the ship as well. We spent the afternoon together, sail away, had a drink. Um, I went off to dinner. I had dinner, early dinner at the steakhouse. I believe they had late dinner at the dining room. Um, from there, I kind of went to the casino for a little bit. The casino was good to me last night. So I am up right now, <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, the casino is really small, I think, for the size of ship. But it was nice, it was sufficient. Um, but maybe I just didn't walk the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that today. Um, today's sea day. Oh, and I ended up at the Good Spirits Bar to end the night. If you all know me from my other, from my carnival vlogs, I always end the night at the Alchemy Bar. I love going there, not just for the drinks and the alchemists, but for the passengers. A lot of passengers end up there. And of course, everyone's got their guard down and it's very chatty and I love that. So. Um, Good Spirits was just as great. Um, different concept. Um, they have a menu with some really um, different drinks, which I like. Um, they all have a history. They all have a backstory. And um, they have a screen behind the, the, bar the bartenders um, that gives you a little bit of the history of the liquor that you're having and where it's from and the people and the flavors. and. Um, really, really great. And then you get to watch them. Usually one of the bartenders is narrating while he's making the drink and he tells you what he's doing, which is really cool. So you kind of get like a fun show with each drink. Um, and then you get a recipe card. That's, that's a pretty thick card um, to take home with you for the drink. And um, there are passengers there that have collected quite a few, <laughs> I believe. There are 19 drinks on the menu. So I got to collect four of them last night. So we'll see if I can get all of them before I leave. <laughs> um, I met this wonderful couple. I wanna shout them out, Susan and Greg from New Jersey. Cause you know me, I'm, I'm an old Jersey girl. Uh, so we, we hit it off straight away. This is their second leg of their back to back on the ship. And they were so fun. Um, they were educating me on the Good Spirits Bar. <laughs> And uh, we had a great time. And it happens to be that they're my cabin neighbors. They're just like two doors down from me, which is amazing, isn't it? Um, but I really love the ship so far. I love this view. I have the bridge right above me. <laughs> I can kind of see it. Um, I think that's the bridge. No, maybe it's not. <laughs> oh no, that's the Lido deck above me, duh. Maybe the bridge is below me. It would help if I looked at a map. But um, the only complaint I have right now is the app doesn't always work. Uh, the medallion app. But the medallion works completely fine all over the ship. It is really weird. I'm getting used to it. It's um, so you don't need to open. You don't have a key to open your door. It just opens. Um, they know where you are everywhere on the ship, which is a little comforting. Um, but and when you walk up to a bar, they know who you are. You, they serve you your drink. You don't sign for anything. It's just taken care of. The same thing for dinner. Um, they know who you are. They know your account. Every the, there have RFID readers everywhere. Um, so it's really interesting. It's a very carefree uh, way of cruising, but it takes some getting used to. <laughs> um, the casino, the same thing. You just scan a little scanner. You do have the tap for that, so that uh, you can play a machine, and um, if you don't have an account set up, you set up your PIN code, just like you do with a card, 
and you play. And once you cash out, it logs you out of the machine. Pretty simple. So um, we did have a medical emergency last night. So the captain said we were stopping at the nearest port. And I forget the name of the port he said it was, but we were gonna drop off the person so they could get medical attention, um, which really was sad. And um, he said that we would get back on our way to San Francisco. Today's a sea day and then we'll be in San Francisco tomorrow. So I've yapped long enough. <laughs> I plan to, I really don't have a plan for today. I want to do a few, maybe catch a few activities, maybe some trivia. Um, and I have dinner in the main dining room today. One of the main dining rooms, the catch you can, um, because it's formal night. So I'm not going to get too dressed up, but I'll look nice <laughs> and I'll take plenty of pictures and video. Um, there are some amazing couples on this cruise and their dancing skills blow me away. Um, I did take some video last night of that. That's always fun to watch. Um, there's one couple in particular, uh, they just look like they've been doing this forever. Uh, someone told me, um, that they've been together over 60 years or something. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, um. I'm just enjoying my window. I wish it was a little cleaner, <laughs> but that, I don't know, happens, right? We're at sea, but it's beautiful out here. I did not get up in time for the sun sunrise or anything, um, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm hydrating today. And I'm gonna go to the buffet for breakfast. I really am interested to see what they have there to offer that I can have. And, um, and I'm going to try to find everybody and see if we can at least catch lunch together. Um, so that's it. Thanks for coming along on this journey. It's a brand new journey for me. Um, I mean, I've been on Princess a long time ago, but this is all new with the medallion and the ship. Um, so I feel like I'm a newbie all over again, <laughs> but it's wonderful. So I'll talk to you all later. You know I will. Ooh, it is cold out here today. We're gonna wash our hands and get some breakfast. All right, let's see what we got. nibbles here and I think I heard him say the whole buffet is down here but let's walk around pastry shop I love this little area I think it's such a good idea look at all the breads Ooh, some. looks like pineapple upside down cake but tiny <laughs> Very cool. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Like a lot of people get up early. It's about seven, let's see, seven forty-seven. <laughs> there we go. Oh, little bagels, toast. If they have any gluten free toast. Vegetables, oh, some hard boiled eggs. That looks delicious. Mushrooms, tomatoes, potatoes, eggs. This is scrambled eggs with baked with salmon. Nice. Hi, good morning. This looks so good. Bacon, lots of bacon. 
marshmallows. <laughs> Ooh, they'll even make poached eggs, it says. And some pancakes, waffles. They even have sugar free syrup. I love that. Ooh, Tony Side eggs. Grits. They have French toast. Oatmeal and fixins. Oh my god, those hash browns are my life. <laughs> More grits. Eggs Florentine. Ooh, I'm gonna have to ask them what's in that because that looks good for me. And the same thing over here. And we have some fruit. Ooh, smoked mackerel. Trout. Some fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Got some smoothies. Nice, healthy smoothies. Poached fruit. Very nice. And some more bread down there. And, oh, they even have an omelet station over there. They even have marmalade and jam. Baked beans. Little explorer without those. Corned beef. Cajun spice roasted potatoes. Mm. Yes, this is all the fixings that you can get in your omelet. Station sign. Mm. If you can't find something to eat, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Biscuits. That's some quiche. More bacon. There's no shortage of bacon. <laughs> they even have savory dishes. Pork adobo. Garlic rice. Upma. Which I can't have because it has peanuts. Alright. I've talked to you guys enough. I'm going to get me a plate. I'm just walking around today and I decided to stop in at the International Cafe and see what they got. They have a lot of great little options for snacks. All stuff, a lot of stuff that I can eat. So grapefruit I can eat. Cottage cheese and peaches, yes. Cheese seed, except it has nuts on it, too bad. And the fruit salad has nuts on it, but I bet I can ask them to make it without the nuts. Yogurt, muesli, pineapple, some kind of open sandwiches. They do have egg muffins, which I can have. And they do have a gluten-free Danish. That's really cool. And a pineapple Danish upside down cake. And a chocolate muffin. So very awesome. And it looks like they're putting more stuff out. And of course they have the specialty coffees, which are included in the package that I have. So very, very cool. They have some sandwiches. Look at all that. Croissants. Very, very cool. But yeah, I am still full from breakfast, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But the piazza is hopping, everybody's inside. It was a little chilly outside earlier, so maybe that's why everybody's in here. But I spent a little time in the casino, and I did really well. So now I'm just going to head upstairs and get me a celebratory drink. Looks like today's movie, Under the Stars, is Bohemian Rhapsody. And look at this beautiful view. Oh, I love a sea day. Just like clockwork, 
my room is magically transformed. <laughs> my cabin steward is amazing. He literally waits till I leave and he comes in here, does his magic and leaves. <laughs> in case you were wondering if you can order breakfast to your room, you can. They do have the regular tag menu. It's just your usual continental breakfast stuff. So you just choose what you want, hang it outside your door, and they deliver it to you at the time that you want. Hello there. I have been spending a very relaxing sea day. I came back to the cabin, as I told you earlier, relaxing by my window, having my strawberries, which are completely gone. <laughs> and I still have a little bit of my cocktail left, which I'm going to finish before I head out again. We just heard from the captain, gave us an update on the medical situation. Um, they were to get uh, able to get the passenger off around midnight last night. Um, and they said successfully they've gotten to some medical attention, which is good. Um, they said we're fine to be on time into San Francisco tomorrow. We will be going under the Golden Gate Bridge at like 6.50 a.m. We're meeting the pilot boat at 6.15 a.m. I'm going to try my hardest. I think I should set an alarm to get up early before the sun rises so we can get a nice shot of the Golden Gate Bridge all lit up because when we go under it, it will already be daylight. So um, he said something like the clearance is eight meters. That's not a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna be holding my breath while we go into the bridge. So I don't care how cold it is out there tomorrow. I'm gonna be out there because I've got to see this. This is like once in a lifetime for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, he said it is about 55 degrees out, which I believe is really cold and the winds are are kicked up. Um, the sea is pretty calm, surprisingly, for the amount of wind we have. Um, and I'm at the front of the ship. I should be able to feel it and it's pretty calm. So, um, yay. <laughs> um, yeah, that was basically like the highlights of what he was talking about. So that was really nice, really nice update from the captain. I'm so excited, so excited to go into the Golden Gate Bridge. I got to see the Golden Gate Bridge in person last year. I have a video, which I will link up here um, or up here, whichever way YouTube puts it, um, of my visit to the Golden Gate Bridge with Pepper Tree Villa. So um, that's it, I'm very excited, very excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to enjoy the ship for the day. Um, I think I'm gonna enjoy some kind of lunch around the ship, either the gastropub or sushi um, or pizza, although I had pizza yesterday, but I promise I'm gonna try to get in as much food as possible in these vlogs and show you all the, the wonderful options on the ship. So enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of mine. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right, I was walking by and my mind was made up for me. I'm going to have salty dog grill. I'm going to have hot dogs, hamburgers, tacos, uh, loaded fries. So yum, 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 right out here on the Lido deck. The movie just finished, so everybody's grabbing their lunch. I think I'm going to try their tacos. They're on corn tortillas, so it should be perfectly safe for me. Because I'm working so hard. It was such great smiles. Chipotle lime chicken taco. And I'm sitting here at the mix bar right next to it. There's the salty dog. And I'm gonna grab a drink. And I'm gonna try to sit here and eat it and be brave because it's cold. <laughs> Caribbean iced tea. Say that 
that'll warm me up. <laughs> Sebastian is so strong. He doesn't even have a sweater on. You're not even cold. I love this sweater. <laughs> I think they're very you know classy. What? Honestly, I see the capacity of the sweater that it will be too much now in this moment for me. Yeah. I'm from Texas, so this is very cold for me. <laughs> Area. I'm from India, trust me, this is very, very cold for me. Yeah, uh, not well, you for you yet. Look, <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I should have packed sweaters. <laughs> this is the warmest thing I have. Yeah, I got some sweaters. Here you are, my lady. Would you like to tell me your I decided to check out the Elite Lounge for a pre-dinner drink. It was being held in the Vista Lounge, which is a multi-purpose venue throughout the cruise. There was a list of drinks exclusive to this lounge, as well as a variety of snacks to enjoy. There was also a lovely piano player. Soon it was time for dinner, and my dinner for tonight is at the Ketchikan Dining Room, which is one of the main dining rooms. I got a private table next to the view of the ocean and had a lovely dinner. The tables here are really close together, so I tried to avoid uh, filming too much in order to respect everyone's dining experience. So I took a few pictures, and uh, here is what I had. So I just finished my dinner at the Ketchikan dining room. It was very, very nice. Um, they adapted some things for me and made me a special dessert. So I really appreciated that. Um, we also got to hear the captain's toast since um, the COVID restrictions do not allow for the champagne waterfall to happen anymore. Um, they do a, a captain's toast over the loudspeaker. So. I captured that for you and I will play it here. <laughs> so uh, main dining room was perfectly fine um, and it was enjoyable. <laughs> so um, I loved looking out the window at my view for sure, it was very soothing and um, the waiter was very attentive. Um, they took really great care of me, so I wouldn't hesitate to eat her again. We are uh, proud and excited uh, to have you on board uh, the beautiful and friendly Discovery Princess for her uh, inaugural uh, season and her second ever California coastal voyage. This cruise we are sailing with uh, 2,802 guests with uh, many new and returning guests to our Princess family. Whether it is your first or uh, 100 uh, cruise, uh, my team and I are here to make sure you have a cruise of a lifetime. We have assembled uh, the very best crew for you. There are more than uh, 1,300 of us coming to you from over 57 countries around the world. And we are uh, Princess Proud to celebrate so many nationalities, cultures, and diversities on board. 
many of you know our crew and uh, they are uh, one of the reasons uh, you keep sailing with princess i know for fact that they are just as excited to see you because ships without you are uh, just empty vessels at this time i would like to introduce the ship's three heads of department starting from the head of the deck department staff captain alessandro genso comes from uh, trieste a small uh, city on the northeast coast of italy right on the border with uh, slovenia and croatia when uh, not on board alessandro enjoys uh, outdoor activities with his friends and family skiing on the dolomites during winter and sailing and diving during the summer time next keeping us moving and the uh, lights on uh, is the head of the department of the technical uh, department the chief engineer vincenzo Alfi, who comes to you from italy when uh, not on board uh, vincenzo enjoys traveling the world with his wife and finally charge of the hotel department is the hotel general manager richard Henry, who comes to you from bristol england when at home richard is a keen cyclist and a bristol rugby supporter but mostly runs the dead taxi cab for his children ladies and gentlemen if you are looking for a memorable cruiser well uh, you are then in the right place therefore uh, with this in mind all I ask of you is to enjoy and relax and let us take good care of you. After all, you are a part of the Discovery Princess in our season and you are the ones who will set the tone for the rest of her ship's life. You will forever mark her history. So now, if you would uh, join me in uh, raising your uh, glasses to good health and smooth sailing. Cheers, salute. salute, thank you, and have a wonderful evening on board Discovery Princess. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, shake it, yeah, yeah. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. The last drop.